Hi, I'm Jim Jordan, owner of Create Vibrant Health, a health and wellness education company and the author of Your Health is in Your Hands. Today I want to talk to you about um, the topic of toxicity. How do you know if toxicity is affecting your health and in what ways is it affecting your health? So for many of you, you know that I have, I, for many years I've looked at blood with a microscope and one way to find out is to look at your blood and see if there's lots of toxins in your blood. Uh, many people can't do that. Um, they don't have someone around who does that or that's difficult to do, but you can tell from how you feel and your symptoms. So some of the symptoms that are directly related to one's toxic load includes your energy level. How do you feel energetically? Your brain function. How's your thinking process? Your mood? Your emotions? Are you always out of balance, depressed, anxiety, trouble remembering things? Um, if that's the case, you've got toxicity that's impacting uh, that system in your body, nervous system, your immune system. Do you get sick often? Um, are you feeling run down and fluish all the time? That's another sign of toxicity. Do you have skin breakouts or common skin problems? That's often a sign your liver is just clogged up and it's dealing with too many toxins and the toxins are breaking out through your skin. So there's a variety of ways of assessing this subjectively, and then there's ways to assess it more objectively. But the point is, is most people have a higher toxic load than they're aware of. So then the question comes about, should I do a detox program? There's these packaged products with herbs and su different supplements that are supposed to really help your body flush these toxins out and cleanse these toxins out. Often people are told to fast during these programs or reduce substantially their, their food intake. And sometimes that works, but more often than not, it's not that effective. And the reason is that your body actually needs nutrition to optimize its ability to detoxify. So what I suggest is I want to give you some basic principles to support your body's capacity to detoxify. So this is part one, actually, of a two-part video I'm doing. Part one is, what are the basic things you can do every day to help your body get rid of toxins? So number one is just eliminate certain substances, certain foods. Eliminate sugar and all sweets, um, processed foods, caffeine, and alcohol. So basically, have your diet very simple. Healthy protein cooked at low temperatures, you know, 225 or less. Vegetables, whether they're juiced, salad, stir-fried, steamed, uh, in soups, healthy vegetables, and healthy fats like flaxseed oil, coconut oil, butter, basic healthy fats, avocados. That's it. That's the diet during this program. Just a healthy diet. Drink plenty of water. Take your body weight in pounds and divide it by two. Drink that many ounces of water per day purified filtered water. Try to drink it in no more than four ounces at a time. Squeeze some lemon in it if you want. And that's your fluids. No other fluids. You don't have to drink fancy formulas. Just pure water with lemon. Simple diet. Next, movement. Get your body outside. Go for a hike. Go for an hour hike in the woods. Uh, bounce on a rebounder. Bouncing on those little mini trampolines. Look at your lymphatic system moving. So get outside and move. Again, that helps detoxification. This is just simple, simple stuff. Try to sweat two or three times a week, a sauna or through exercise. Um, get sunlight. Adequate sunlight, your body needs that for vitamin D, very important nutrient for overall immune system and health. These are some of the most basic things you can do to support detoxification. Getting adequate rest, too. Your brain detoxifies all the toxins that build up in your brain that affects your memory and your thinking process. Your brain detoxifies when you're sleeping. All these principles are covered in my book in the section of detoxification. But I wanted to highlight it today because lately I've come across more people, more clients, who have dived in, dove into um, herbal detoxification programs and they felt lousy. They felt lousy because they didn't have adequate nutrition to support their body's enzyme systems to facilitate the detoxification. Once toxins are released from cells, you gotta, you gotta bind with those toxins and take them out through the liver. So you need good fats like cholesterol rich foods. The things we don't need are sweets and processed foods and alcohol and caffeine. 
So this is a very simple message today. Step one of my talk on detoxification is make it simple. Uh, drink plenty of water, protein, fats, and vegetables, movement, get outside, sweat, and you're on your way. Make sure your bowels are moving too. Two or three bowel movements a day um, would be optimum. So the next video, I'm going to go into more specific things you might need to find out, like if you have certain key nutrient deficiencies that are impacting your body's ability to detoxify effectively, there's ways to assess that, and a little more advanced discussion about detoxification. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, remember, toxins are impacting your health all the time, and your body can detoxify on its own, adequate nutrition and avoidance of bad stuff, bad foods, adequate movement, rest, and hydration are the keys. Okay, enjoy the day. Talk to you again soon.